Welcome back to my garage. Last time we gained 0.4 horsepower. Today we're going to try a bit harder, clean up the cylinder, set port timing and squish cap, and put it on the dyno. First up, I just want to say thanks to everybody that's been watching and subscribing and to all the people that's been donating and supporting me on Patreon. Thanks to all you guys, I'll probably be able to buy the parts I need for the SPX project next month and we will be back on the boost cruise. So now we're going to clean up all the casting flaws inside of the cylinder. We're going to remove some material from the top, get a better squish clearance. Also I'm going to space the cylinder a bit. If you look into the exhaust port at bottom dead center, there is about a millimeter or so of piston showing. I'm going to space the cylinder one millimeter and we'll test it and after that we'll start porting it a bit. Also the head has to be cleaned up because uh, it was obviously painted after machining. We'll sand that off. The cylinder is pretty uh, bad. There's some large lumps in the transfer ports. Probably very hard for you to see in there. There's some there, on both sides, the core boxes and stuff are probably very worn. Yeah, pretty bad. I'll clean up both transfers and I'll clean up the exhaust port. Just clean up the edge and give it a slight chamfer. And also the intake, just chamfer it a bit. I've taped some sandpaper to my glass table. This is where a glass table comes in handy. It is a bit flexy, so you can't really push on it. As long as you're careful, this works fine. And now I will just rub the cylinder on this rough paper. I decided one millimeter, three and a half millimeter now. I'll take it down to close to two and a half and I'll finish it with some finer grit. After a ridiculous amount of time doing this, We have shaved one millimeter of the barrel and lapped the head. I'll have to make a gasket, then it's time to reassemble and check our results. Kind of hard making it pretty with this uh, thick material. <laughs> got lucky there, I lost it on the floor. Cracked off one of the fins, nothing else got damaged, so got lucky. Okay, I'm ready to assemble. The piston is clearing the ports. Looks like we have a pretty decent squish gap. Probably around one millimeter, so it's really too large, but let's start there and see where it takes us. There's quite a bit of uh, case patching needed here, but um, I don't want to tear down the whole engine just yet, so I'll just leave that. It's not that bad, certainly could need a little uh, grinding. Let's see here, I think we've gone a bit overboard, <laughs> so we're measuring a squish gap of 0.5 millimeters. So in any other normal engine, I would say that's uh, pretty much safe for a 38 millimeter bore, no 38 millimeter stroke. In this one, yeah, not quite sure, but we'll try it. I have put back the exhaust end cap. Just because this took much longer than I expected and it's late, late at night and I don't want to wake up my girlfriend.
Didn't sound too good. I suspect I'm hitting the head. I'll make a gasket and space it up a little bit and we'll give it another try. Let's try again, now with a squish cap of 0.8 millimeters. <laughs> Okay, it's pretty late, I'll just have to end it here. We did not gain any power, we actually lost a tiny bit up here, and we gained some here. 1.73 horsepower versus 1.79. I'm guessing if I had done a couple more runs, I would have been up to the previous numbers. What I think is the problem here is that now that I've raised the barrel, the bad intake timing is even worse. And also the piston is now covering even more of the intake port at top dead center. We'll fix that and see what happens. <laughs> Not the results I was hoping for today. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.